Welcome to this Clemson University Libraries video on finding peer-reviewed articles. Here we will discuss developing keywords for a topic and searching library databases for research articles. Before we get to the library website, let's go over some basic principles for searching. The first thing to do is develop a keyword vocabulary for your topic. Library databases are not like Google and will search for exactly what you type in. It is important to be specific and search with keywords that describe a topic or are somehow related to it. Let's look at an example research question and come up with a list of possible keywords to search. So our example research question is, what are effective measures for controlling the spread of the brown tree snake? Brown tree snake is obviously our primary keyword. A keyword can be more than one word. From this question, we could also use control, spread, and effective. Since our focus is on the brown tree snake as an invasive species, we can also use invasive as a keyword. Like I said before, most library databases will search for the exact words you enter, so it's important to consider synonyms and alternate terms that describe the same concept. Boiga irregularis is the scientific name for the brown tree snake, and invasion is another term for invasive. Now we can use Boolean search operators to combine our keywords and create effective search queries. The three main search operators are AND, OR, and NOT. It's best practice to capitalize the entire operator so the search engine recognizes it as a keyword operator. AND combines terms and all the search results will have each keyword. Your search might look like brown tree snake, AND control, AND invasive. OR is used to add synonyms and alternate terms to a search. Here I should also mention parentheses. Parentheses can be used to organize different segments of your search query. For example, here I am using them to organize the multiple words of brown tree snake as a single concept. They are also used to organize OR statements in the query. So our search with OR statements would be brown tree snake and control OR spread and invasive OR invasion. NOT will eliminate results that have a certain keyword. NOT statements are usually placed at the end of the search. I don't think NOT is as useful as the other operators, but it can cut through the noise and remove unwanted results. If you don't want articles about brown tree snake mating habits, you could search for brown tree snake and invasive NOT mating. Finally, let's talk about using quotations to search for exact phrases. While parentheses are useful to organize segments of a search query, they may not keep the terms in order. With brown tree snake, those three words just need to appear somewhere in the text, and some results may not be relevant. Placing quotations around a phrase like brown tree snake will search for that exact grouping of words for a more focused search. This is especially useful when searching for exact titles of publications. But be careful that phrases and quotations can be too specific and eliminate potential results. Balance your searches with and without quotations.